Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will show you some hidden features in Android 16 Beta 2 and Beta 2.1. I will also talk about the bug fixes in Beta 2.1 and finally share my experience with the performance and battery after using Android 16 for a while. So without further ado, let's jump in. Just a quick update about the wallpapers by in-depth thick reviews app. Now the search functionality works by description, not only by name like before. You can use whatever comes to your mind and you will find the wallpaper you are looking for. As you see here in these examples, you can search by color, by describing the scene, the subject and so on. This new functionality is a server side update and you don't need to do anything from your side. You can enjoy it right now. This is one of the most requested features and it's finally here. And there are a lot more coming in the future, which I'm going to talk about in a separate video. But for now, let's get back to Android 16. The first hidden feature I'm going to talk about is the HDR screenshots. For example, when you take a screenshot from an HDR photo or video, it will keep the same effect. So let me show you a quick example. Here I took the screenshot. The photo itself is an HDR photo as shown here. And when I go to the screenshots, it does exactly the same as if I'm opening the HDR photo, my screen becomes brighter immediately. The second change is the reappearance of the note taking lock screen shortcut under the wallpaper and the style app. This is not new to Android, but it keeps coming and going. I don't have it in beta one, but now it appears back again in beta two. Tapping on it will show you an overlay card to select your note taking app, but unfortunately nothing appears on the list. I even tried to install multiple third party apps and none of them show up. Even Google's own keep notes doesn't show in the list. So hopefully we will see it coming in the future. The third hidden feature is spotted by Mesha Rahman, which is the ability to customize your physical keyboard shortcuts on Android 16. So let me show you how it works. This feature is only available for devices with bigger displays or 600 DPI or more. And here I have the 9 Pro Fold that supports the feature. When you go to settings and then system and then keyboard and then physical keyboard, you will see something called view keyboard shortcuts. But the customize button at the top right corner only appears when the display size is big enough. Tapping on it will allow you to customize all these shortcuts. And here you have multiple categories. All the shortcuts are set by default, but you can add your own key combination for some of the shortcuts. And when you tap on the plus button, it will ask you to press the start key and any letter you want, and then set the shortcut. As you see here, it works side by side with the default option, but it doesn't replace it or delete it from the list. And the only one you can delete here, here is the one you created, but the default option will remain the same. The other way to access the same shortcuts menu is by pressing the start or option key if you are using a Mac keyboard and then the forward slash button, it will give you the same exact menu. Now let's talk about the bugs. The good news is Android 16 beta 2.1 fixes some of the issues we have in Android 16, but it doesn't solve any of the problems I reported in my previous videos, like the grayed out clock and date at the top left corner, same as the build number, the edit button for the quick settings, or the task manager, the home screen folder expansion animation is laggy as you see here and the double press to open google wallet still locks the phone first which is a bit annoying but when we take a look at the list you will see here that we have a fix for an issue that sometimes prevented devices from entering those mode fixed issues that caused some animations to be to appear choppy while configuring live wallpapers, fixed an issue that sometimes caused devices to reboot unexpectedly, and finally fixed various other issues that were impacting system stability, connectivity, and the performance. Now let's talk about the performance and battery after using Android 16 Beta 2 and 2.1 for a while. When it comes to the performance, there is no difference. It's exactly the same in opening and the closing apps. It's not faster or slower, but it's exactly the same. Even the animations are the same. But when it comes to the battery, I think it's a lot better when compared to the early versions of Android 16, like Beta 1, DP1, DP2. Here I'm getting seven hours of screen on time with 11% battery remaining. And I unplugged the phone from the charger at uh, on Monday at 12 p.m. And then this is the screenshot at 2.47 a.m. the next day. So I, I think it's about 15 hours 
of total usage and seven out of which are the screen on time and here are all the apps i used during my day on a mix of cellular data and wi-fi using the light theme all the time except for the battery saver mode that activates the dark theme so i think it's much better than the early versions of android 16. so that's pretty much it for today that was my follow-up video on android 16 beta 2 and 2.1 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video